Hello everybody, the quiet atheist here. This next story that I want to share with you guys is probably going to make you laugh because it did make me laugh when I read this particular article. Now, the governor in Iowa has taken it upon himself to have this ceremony, if you will. And this ceremony entails him basically signing away the separation of church and state. He doesn't want the separation of church and state to interfere with his particular religion. He wants everybody to be welcomed in prayer and repent and do all of these lovely things like he wants them to do, you know. And I think that it's pretty safe to say that it is pretty much illegal for him to do these things, but in all honesty, I don't think he really cares because he's doing it anyway. And he's perfectly selfish in regards to this particular issue at hand here. Like I've said in many videos in the past, I bet you that the Founding Fathers would literally have something to say about these particular issues because there's a lot of Christians out there in this particular country that we live in who share this exact same position. They literally want the separation of church and state basically thrown away like garbage so that way they can get their religion implemented into anything and everything that they do in government. And to me, I think that's a huge mistake. Honestly, I think that this particular individual should be held accountable for what he has done, basically, you know. He knows that he can't do it. He knows that it's against the law for him to do these types of things, but he basically did it anyway because of his religious position, you know. And I'm pretty sure that he has a lot of supporters. I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of people out there that really agree with him in Iowa, but that doesn't make it correct, you know. I think that there needs to be a lot of people out there that need to put him in his place, that need to show him the errors of his ways, you know. I think that he's making a big mistake, but then again, like I said, when it comes to Christianity, this particular individual don't really care, and it makes me sick. Republicans make me sick when it comes to this particular issue because they want to do this in a lot of states. They want to do away with a lot of things that are put there by the Founding Fathers, and they just completely want this country run by a theocracy. They want everybody to adhere to this particular religion, while at the same time they want all other religions completely out of the picture. They are completely against atheists, they are completely against homosexuality, they are completely against the LGBT community. They are completely against all of these other things that promote social development as we know it. And <clears throat> that is a huge problem, you know. See, when it comes to religion, I think that it holds society back in a lot of ways. And this is just another perfect example of it, you know. And at this particular point in time, I think that he's getting away with a lot of things. But hopefully he won't get away with this. Hopefully this individual would get punished for what he's done because he's just falsifying documents, he's just doing all of these things to meet his own agenda when it comes to his religion. And I think that makes me sick, it really does. And I think it makes a lot of other individuals sick as well. And honestly, I hope, like I said before, that he actually pays for what he's done because he's basically falsifying documents, if you will. I don't think he has the power to do these things. I don't think he has the power to literally throw away the Constitution, you know, like a lot of these other individuals. You know, I don't think any of them have the power to do what they're doing. And these are just theocratic individuals that have no morality whatsoever when it comes to society as we know it. And they don't really care, you know. And I wanted to share this with you guys because it's something that a lot of people are seem to latch on to these days, you know. There are a lot of people out there who would literally want, you know, like I made in previous videos about Bibles being state books and this and that, you know. And it's just really pathetic. But please feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. I would really like to hear your opinions on this particular issue, you know. Please feel free to share this video with anyone that might be interested, whether it be on Facebook, Google+, Tumblr, or Reddit, wherever you guys hang out. Till next time, The Quiet Atheist is out. And remember, if you can't be good, be good at it. Most of all, thank you for watching, and I will see you next video.